Hello, good evening everybody. My name is Willem, I'm from Intellectual and I'm gonna do uh, a playthrough, a guitar playthrough of our latest single, uh, The Invisible Hand. It's the first time I'm doing something like this, so bear with me. Um, I hope you brought your guitar, maybe you have a drink. Um, I'm all prepared for disaster. Let's see what happens. Um, if you have, this is live and we're gonna put it online afterwards. So if you have any questions uh, live, just ask them. I think that's possible in such a setup. If you have comments afterwards, just post them below this video and uh, the better feedback I get, the better we can make a possible next edition. So uh, yeah, feel free to join in, grab your guitar and see if we can play this song together. Um, yeah, I'm going to start with the, our latest single. Um, some things you need to know before we can actually start playing. Uh, it's on. Yeah, there we go. It's tuned in standard F tuning. So you have to, if you're tuned in standard E tuning, you have to st uh, tune everything one step up or use a capo on the first fret and uh, do all your positions one step up as well. Um, otherwise, it will sound off key with the recordings we did uh, or with whatever I'm going to do uh, uh, right here, right now. Uh, for the gear nerds, uh, I'm using my um, Gibson SG standard, which has a different pickup, mostly because the old one was broken, but also because I modified it and now I can do this, which makes it a uh, single coil and regular humbucker. So it gives a different sound to it. And I recorded this song with the single coil uh, mode on. So I'll use it that way right now as well. Um, for the album, we used a lot of different guitar layers and parts. I'm now only going to play the, the parts that I play live as well. So, uh, cause it's easier and, um, it's what I uh, usually play and what you'll hear if you come and see us live. Um, on the album, there's also a lot of effects, uh, a lot of delay uh, and such, but now I'm going for no effects, pun intended. Um, I'm going to start with the, I think the easiest part, which is the chorus and then do the verse as well. And uh, which is a bit harder perhaps and the intro and the, the bridge hammer or the, the finger tap piece, which might be the most difficult thing. And if we have time or everybody feels like it, we can do the bridge as well or something. We'll, we'll see. Um, I'm not going to go into any theory because I have no clue what I'm doing theory wise. We're just going to play and, and see what happens. Um, and again, if you have any questions, I have to you know, keep track of what people are doing and saying, um, all right. Hey, nice to see you all there. Nice. There's actually people watching. Um, yeah, let's just start the first part of the, the, uh, the song we're going to do is the uh, set the chorus and it sounds a bit like this. I hope you can hear it as well. Um, this is the, the, the chorus part. It's, it's all, um, uh, power chords, which is pretty basic, I guess. Um, there's usually two types of power chords, uh, based on the, the A string, like the, the or the, 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 A string and the A chord. And, um, so for instance, the first, first chord is this chord. Uh, it's the seventh position on the A string, the ninth position on the D string and the ninth position on the G string as well, starting like this. That's the first chord. The second chord is the same, uh, how do you say that position, but then on the third fret. So, uh, third position on the A string, fifth position on the D string, fifth position on the G string, sounding like this. Just the third chord is two steps up, the same position again, but two steps up. So, and then it starts becoming a bit more weird or well, not that, but usually I said you, you do power chords on the E string, um, on the A string, but this is a power chord based on the D string, meaning you also have to boot, uh, do a D type of power chords and that's the last part of the, of the riff and the position is the seventh position on the D string, the ninth position on the G string and the 10th position on the B string. 
And if you play that in a sequence, it goes something like. And the second time around, you do uh, the, the power chord on the, on the E string, going from the fifth position, which is a variation of, but a more simpler and a lower sounding one. So it, in the end, the, the whole sequence is. Now let's play it together with the song, if that makes, it sounds okay. That's that. Um, basic, I guess, I hope. Uh, um, let's see how the, the verse goes, um, which is, if I'm correct, you have to look at stuff I did. Yeah, sounds a bit like this. It's a bit more complicated also because there are some variations going on, but the first chords are... Um, starting on the A string, the seventh position, the D string, the fifth position, sounding like this. The second chord is the third position on the A string and the seventh position on the D string, sounding like this. So the third chord is the fifth position on the A string and the fourth position on the D string, making so. And the last one is the fourth position on the A string and the seventh position on the D string. And the rhythm goes like this. And then there's a variation, which I will not go into. Or um, Actually, it's very easy because it's the... You just shift two steps up and one step up. And then you go from that position, which is the seventh and the tenth position on the A and the D string. You add the eighth position on the E string. And you switch it to a basic bar chord on the eighth position without uh, pushing down the B and the E string, which sounds like this. And in sequence, it's uh, and then you step, you go up two steps, and you end with this one, which is um, the ninth position on the A string, the ninth position on the B string, and the seventh position on the G string. So that last sequence is making the whole sequence um, and then the chorus kicks in all right let's play the the, the verse together uh, with, with the music as we recorded it and one round of the chorus added. Um, the second verse is different from the first one uh, to the extent that um the it starts the same does it no it starts differently it starts with a, a little picking which goes it's the same uh finger positions but the, the the stuff with your right hand i have no idea what it's called is different and it goes like this Um, 
it's basically the same chords but just different in picking and you uh you go from a d g to and then i mean the strings a d uh, a d g for the first chord so that's a d g then for the second chord you start with the a and you go to the b g d then you start with the d chord uh the a chord d a g that is and then you do d g b no a d g b and up d k banana that was it. um so in sequence that is And then the chorus kicks in again. Um, so that's a bit more complicated. Um, for some reason, when singing it together and playing it together, I'm distracted by the singing and I don't pay attention here. So I, I don't know if that makes sense, but that distracts me so I don't fuck it up for some reason. I don't know. Um, um, so yeah, that, that covers the, the choruses, the first verse and the second verse. Is that still, can you still follow that? Are there any remarks, questions, or stuff I can get into now? Uh, no, I'm very clear, I, I can see. <laughs> um, or I just can't find where the comments are. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's go to the, um, um, the, the, the most, maybe the most difficult part of the song, which is the, it, it's in the intro, but it also in the bridge. And if you listen closely, it's actually all over the um, all over the the, uh, the choruses as well. So um, um, and it's finger tapping. So if you like uh, a particular band uh, like me, uh, it's 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 fun to play, or at least I, I enjoy playing that. And it, it that it's this part. It's I'll play it like it's played in the intro. It goes like. And uh, I think it's easier to start with one hand first and then add the other one. So it's basically the, the, the chords that we played in the chorus, um, starting with the, uh, the seven, nine position. So seventh position on the A string, ninth position on the D string. That's that chord. The second chord is the third position on the A string and the fifth position on the D string. Then you step two up, step up two to uh, fifth on the A and seventh on the D. Then you, you start using the other hand. And if you just do the other hand, it's on the G string. You first tap the 12th position, then the 14th, then the 11th. That's the first line. And what's happening there, you, is you press, you, 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 you uh, uh, put your finger on the 11th position, uh, and then you slide to the 12th, and you slide back to the 11th. So, Let's see if that sounds familiar if you listen to the intro uh, over here. Yeah, so it starts quickly. You can hear that it's, you can actually hear that when everything kicks in, it's still there, even though um, I don't play it live because I need to go to the power chords um so again in the bridge that same part comes back but a bit more extended and it, it goes like this i'll play it
So it's involving a fourth chord. So it, the, the intro of the first three are the same. But then you add the, the fourth chord, which is the um, fifth position on the E string and the seventh position on the B string. No, A string. Fifth on the E, seventh on the A string. That's right. So um, only the left hand. If you add the right hand, um, it's the same as the intro, so the 12th, 14th, and the 11th. But then, together with the fourth chord, you're playing with your left hand. So again, you're or not again, but you're sliding from 12 to 11. You let you pull off, and then you do the 12th position on the D. So first, first line is. Let me play it right. All right. And the second round time around is. Which is um, only the, the, the hammer on and pull off uh, at the end is different. It's the same last chord, the fifth on the E, the seventh on the A. Um, but your right hand starts on the G string on the 11th position is from G 11 to 12 back to 11 pull off and to the 12th position on the B string so all together the two runs uh, in sequence All right, that's that. Um, let's see what's happening on your side. I can't tell. For some reason, I don't get to see your comments. No, I do, but <laughs> you should talk about guitar stuff, people. <laughs> um, all right, let's. Let's see if we can add the the bridge to that, like the the the, the first part of the bridge. Uh, so then, in fact, the song is complete because the bridge and the outro are more more or less the same. Um, you come from the from the chorus playing. Let me let me show you the, the the bridge part first, so it's you know what I'm talking about. It goes something like this. <laughs> Let's do it until there first. So um, it starts with the chord we played in the pre-chorus before, which is like the, the basic bar chord on the eighth position with the top two strings or the bottom two strings. I don't know what it's called, well, but uh, the highest sounding strings uh, not pressed on the eighth position. So it sounds like this. And the second chord is the exact same uh, position for your hands but then on the fifth fret so and then you get a little um, octave action uh, the first thing you do is just the, the, the big E string and then two times you do the octave on the A string on the seventh position and the G string on the ninth position And you, you just shift those up two positions, then up one position, and then you go down to the seventh position again, and you go up to the twelve. So, let's play it all together.
So that happens two times in a row. Then you go to a uh, little variation. Again, you start on that same first chord on the eighth position, the bar chord with the open end, a good open uh, light strings. And you don't go down three positions, but you go up two positions. You go down again two positions to the first chord. And then you slide immediately, more or less, back to the um, to well this chord. I don't know how to describe it better, which is on the A string, the uh, ninth position, on the D string, the ninth position, and on the G string, the seventh position, sounding like this. So you do. Then you go back to the first chord again. But you, you can strum a bit more like and up again to the the the, 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 the one on the, on the uh, tenth position and then you get the, the 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 tapping bit of the intro again so let me play the bridge uh in in full as uh, i just did the loose the separate parts um, And then you get the verse, uh, the chorus again. Um, so lastly, if then we have the whole song complete, so why not add it? It's the outro, and that sounds like it's very much similar to the bridge, but it sounds it has a different ending, and it, it sounds like this. <laughs> So yeah, as I said, that is pretty much similar to the bridge, but it it, uh, it ends differently. So let's it starts the same. So on the with the the bar chord with the open bottom strings on the eighth position, and then you go down. You just keep your hand in the same position. You go down from that eighth position to the fifth position. One down to the third position. Two, two down to the third position, two down again to the first position, and last one down to the zero position, so the regular E chord, I guess, which is an F because we're tuned to F, remember, from way back when. So the sequence. That's round one. Round two is starting again at the same chord at the eighth position then going up two steps and then you get the the octave sequence from the bridge again and the trick is at the end you you end not at the 12th position as we did in the bridge but we end at the 13th position making it some i don't know i think it's the what some people call the, call the devil chord, like the, is it the sixth or something? I don't know. No theory, I promise. So let's not go there, but I think it's called that. That's the end note. So uh, that last part of the outro. Now the bridge all together. The bridge, I mean the outro. And I think that's the whole song. Um, so yeah, let's see um, if you if there are any questions that I can answer for you, provided I can. Um, let's see. Okay, sounds so good. Thank you, Leonardo. Um, 
when you write a song, the question, when you write a song, do you already create the arrangement or just basis and then add the arrangement? Um, we usually start with the most, I just start with playing guitar, just playing stupid stuff, playing other people's songs. Then I come up with maybe one riff and then later I come up with another riff and then maybe they make up the, the chorus and the, the verse of a future song. And then I keep playing along with it for days, weeks, uh, until uh, I either find more stuff to make a complete song out of it, or I put it away and maybe months later or years later, I, um, I, cause I record most of my demos and like notes, guitar notes and stuff. So I listen back to it, back to old stuff. And then maybe I come up with a, um, uh, or I find old stuff back and I think, oh, that's worth digging into again. And then maybe a song comes from that. Um, but basically, yeah, we start really small and then add new arrangements and, and uh, make the song bigger and more parts. And also the parts that we only record, like the second guitar stuff. And uh, we, we add more stuff to it while recording and making it bigger or more yeah, bigger, I guess is the best word. Um, All right, that I don't understand. Greeting from Costa Rica. Well, greetings return to you, sir. Must be very early there, or is it not that bad? I don't know. Um, all right, so, well, this is my, this is, was my first time doing this. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe we can do it again some other time for another song, perhaps. If you have any requests for other songs, post them in the comments. Um, and if you have other feedback, I know that the audio system I have, like the setup is not ideal and I hope everybody could hear everything they wanted to hear. And if you have suggestions of how to improve that, uh, be welcome to, uh, to tell me. Um, um, I think that's it for now. Uh, the usual, uh, you know, if you, if you like what you hear, uh, like this page or follow or whatever you do that you do on social media and uh, hope to see you again some other time, maybe with another song. And uh, uh, stay well for now. I'm going to hit end live video. And thanks for watching. Till next time, I've been Willem from Intellectual. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.